Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Baby. Now don't worry about it, some dump truck's bigger than others. That ain't the size of that thing, it's how you dump that dump truck, you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about that dump Come truck. On. So today this video is about, this is part two of the tools I think you need in the dump truck business. This is going to be like an intermediate type set. Uh, this is again preparing yourself f to own a multitude of trucks. Really is uh, what the stuff uh, you're going to need here. So I'll get you guys moved around and we'll kind of go through these things. Uh, again this is just my opinion but it's all stuff that I've used quite a fucking lot. Alrighty there. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to get uh, kind of after you start making some money and you, you know, figure out uh, what you're doing there is uh, this is the tool that I use a lot and it is called a Porta Power. Yes, I bought it from Harbor Freight, whip the fucking do. Uh, I recommend the 10 ton over the 4 ton, uh, but number one thing you're going to need is a Porta Power. Uh, this lets you push steel, aluminum. Uh, you can bend stuff back, uh, just works out a lot better. So get yourself a Porter Power, they're under I think 200 bucks maybe, I don't fucking know, but get yourself a Porter Power. Number one thing. Number two thing, okay, get yourself a big battery charger. Now these are expensive, I bought this one from Napa. I'm going to give you a little secret, they're all made by Schumacher Electric, uh, doesn't really matter. But uh, get yourself one of these because uh, you never know. Your employees could leave the key on overnight or your dumbass could or I've done it. Everybody has done it. So get your battery thing and get one big enough uh, that you've got 250 cold cranking amps so you can get that thing started. Sometimes it takes a while to get uh, these big trucks started. But uh, that's something you're going to need. All righty. Moving along, uh, you want to get a welder. Okay, doesn't really matter what type of welder you got. I got this little Magstar 150. Uh, it does TIG and stick. I bought this off Craigslist for 700 bucks. It's been about one of the best $700 that I've spent. Um, it'll weld up to 3 sixteenths. Uh, <clears throat> I've welded on stuff thicker than 3 sixteenths before, but with it, it works pretty good. I would like to eventually get a little bit bigger welder. But uh, for right now, this welder works. So get yourself a welder. You know, one that does steel, unless you have trucks with aluminum bodies. Dude, with aluminum bodies, you are royally fucked because a fucking spool gun ain't going to do a fuck goddamn bit of good for you. You need big power to weld aluminum, and especially getting it clean. Uh, but a good welder. Uh, like, again, I don't give a shit what brand it is. Uh, get yourself a good welder. Uh, and all that type of stuff and you're you know teach yourself how to weld because you're gonna be welding shit on at fucking two o'clock in the morning gear on fucking teed guaranteed drivers so uh, you know that's pretty much that because I'm stupid and I don't have this I forgot this but this is something you might want to get to would be a set of torches uh, I don't have a set of torches you know like a big oxygen acetylene torch set uh, that is something that is on my list that I have to buy. Uh, I want a real, again, that's probably going to cost me a thousand bucks because I want a really nice brand new set of Victor torches and a rosebud and things like that. But uh, a set of torches, you never know what you might need that. You got to heat shit up, cut a bolt off, all that type of stuff. A set of torches will come in handy. Uh, you know, and I think we'll just add that to the list too. Alrighty, uh, thing number two. Okay, or couple things down. I recommend an air operated grease gun. Okay. Uh, eventually when you get multitudes of trucks, each truck takes about three tubes of grease. You're going to get tired of changing tubes in and out. You're going to be like, fuck this. Get you an air operated grease gun. I bought this from Napa for, I think it was like 600 bucks on sale. Uh, again, I add a 25 foot hose that you can get at any Parker store. Uh, just make it 
and you'll be able to grease trucks and cut your time down significantly with an air operated grease gun. Uh, it's well worth the money. Uh, basically, a 120 pound keg of grease. You might have 1500 bucks in setting all this up, getting your grease and everything like that, but it'll last you three years. Three to, you know, a good two years, depends how many trucks you're greasing, but it's going to last you a long fucking time and you don't have to keep fucking changing tubes and it takes fucking forever. Fuck that. Get yourself an air operated grease gun, if you will. Uh, you're going to be much happier. Alrighty, uh, some of this stuff is just kind of tools and stuff like that. If you're going to be working on your truck, uh, well, another thing that I forgot is when you get multitudes of trucks, all right, you, you're stepping up your business, you got some income coming in. You want to get a place to work on your shop or work on your truck. I, I would say you want to find some type of shop that is reasonably priced. A place you can park your trucks where they're safe and a place where you can pull them inside and work on them in cold weather, hot weather, raining, all that type of stuff. You want to invest in a shop, okay? Uh, I have this shop here. Again, it's not very much money for how many trucks I have. It's $1,500 to rent this shop. Now, when I had two trucks, that was a little bit of a stretch, but now that we're running multitude of trucks, this shop is uh, great to have, okay? So, uh, one of the first things you're going to need that I recommend is a Tiger Tool U-joint puller, okay? Now, they make a couple different ones. This is the one that I have. It's for heavy-duty yokes, but it's not for the trucks that have the huge yokes or the... Uh, the Meet It Tour 350 things, I have to get one of those. Uh, that kit's about 2000 bucks. So I'm saving up some money. But this tool right here will save your ass on changing U-joints yourself. Okay? Recommend this motherfucker right here. Okay? That's one thing. Alright, the next thing that I have is uh, this Tiger Tool Axle Puller. Okay, a lot of people say you just beat the fuck out of it with a hammer, but uh, I bought this Tiger Tool thing. It pulls the, you know, axles out of the truck. Uh, this thing right here is, you know, I think it was 500 bucks, but uh, well worth the money. You're going to use it a lot of fucking times. Trust me, I've used it three or four times already. Alrighty. Now the next thing you want to get is axle nut sockets okay they make two different styles they make a six and an eight lug okay uh, this is the kind of sizes that I've got it narrowed down to uh, you're gonna need two and three quarter uh, four inch and this is a four inch six point I like these tiger tool ones uh, just because of how heavy duty machine they are and you're gonna need three and three quarter uh, that's what my trucks kind of are uh, axle nut sockets. You can get these again. Uh, these things are kind of janky. Uh, I don't like the, you know, what I call a form socket. They're pretty cheap. Like this socket is $200. This is 20 bucks. But you know me, I buy shit to last a lifetime, not five of these over the course of my business. Okay. All right. Let's talk about this. This is probably the best tool if you haul asphalt and grindings, okay? Uh, this is Milwaukee Fuel SDS Max. We can all think, uh, whatever. I asked Mike's tool shed about this thing. This is what he recommended. He was exactly right, okay? Uh, this is used just to chisel the asphalt out of your bed, okay? Then you don't burn yourself. You don't catch yourself on fire. Uh, or do anything stupid like that. Highly recommend one of these. Either that or you'll be shoveling your fucking little dick off with a spud bar and a 20 pound sludge and nobody wants to do that. Get you one of these. Depending on how bad it is, it'll take a couple hours. But I highly recommend something like this. Now this is for guys uh, that live in states where you got multitude of lift axes. Okay? What this tool is, is the lift axle steer, the steerable lift axles have 
a shock on them. It's really called like a, they call it a shock, but it's more like a stabilizing strut. Okay, and what this tool does is it's made by Tiger Tools. It's 350 bucks. Okay, uh, this lets you put on uh, the steering stabilizers on your lift axles with fucking ease. This is a junkie must have if you have steerable lift axles. Okay, uh, just to let you know, number one tool here, this thing works the best. Uh, that I've ever seen for putting those on. You can either ratchet strap them down or uh, do all that shit. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get them uh, put on and all that stuff. I, 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 it, it fucking sucks, dude. This took a three hour job down to about a 20 minute job. I'm going to tell you that right now. I can put steer axle shocks on in under 20 minutes with this motherfucker right here. It's the greatest thing ever. Uh, Highly recommend that. Now, uh, this again is an advanced set, but uh, again, you're you're, you're probably going to want to get something like this. Now, what this is, it's Tiger Tool again. I highly recommend the Tiger Tool stuff. Okay, what this is is a heavy-duty yoke puller. Okay, uh, this is for like yokes on your rear ends, anything like that, especially on the back of your transmission. You got some slop in there. Well, that yoke's 170 bucks. Uh, this thing cost $500, but think about it. If you have to send your truck in to fucking for them to change your yoke, that's one day. You're going to lose 800 bucks. So if you buy this tool and the yoke, you're under that uh, threshold of $800, okay? And you could put a yoke with your U-joint puller on at the end of the shift or even before the next shift. Okay, and guess what? Your truck makes six hundred dollars or eight hundred bucks during the day, makes another eight hundred bucks during the night. That's sixteen hundred bucks. So that day you really only you know you only made seven hundred. But it keeps your truck from being down. That's highly important. That's what you want to think about is keep the truck rolling. So these are some of the tools that I use to keep the truck rolling. Alrighty, and. Uh, we will get into part three, and I'm going to show you some more advanced stuff. Like, guys want to know, why do I have all this oil over here? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some other advanced things uh, that, you know, as you make more and more money, these are things that you want to start thinking about having, especially if you're running multitude of trucks, okay? Uh, again, this is just my opinion and all that shit. But, uh, like always... Check out the Patreon account if you want to support this channel. Check out uh, Justin Sturgill Trucking on Facebook. Uh, Junkie Shop Time on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, use those Amazon links down in the uh, you know in the description if you guys you don't have to purchase those items, but it helps the channel out a lot. And uh, like always, you know, thanks for watching. And I gotta fucking go.